we know corrosion is nothing but destruction or the deterioration of a metal as a result of chemical reaction between the metal and its surrounding environment we already thoroughly discussed the concept of corrosion in the previous videos so now let us see in detail about corrosion control we know metals are very useful in so many industries due to its low cost or easy availability or other mechanical properties but these metals can easily undergo corrosion especially in the acidic medium so this corrosion causes huge economical loss as well as huge environmental pollution hence preventing the metal from a corrosive environment is very important uh, so for this purpose so many researchers have developed so many methods to control the corrosion some of them are anodizing cathodic protection and metal coating so in this section let us see about anodizing anodizing is one of the corrosion control method that increases the corrosion resistance of a metal so how it increases the corrosion resistance of a metal by forming a protective layer of oxide on the surface of the metal so by forming a protective layer uh, of oxide on the surface of the metal the corrosion resistance increment will take place hence uh, that reduces the corrosion this process is nothing but anodizing process so let us see anodizing of aluminium by electrolysis method in this method initially aluminium metal is polished thoroughly then washed with water and finally dried the aluminium metal then only we can apply the aluminium metal for anodizing process anodizing process is uh, carried out in a plating bath uh, it is one kind of glass vessel consider uh, this box as a plate one plating bath this bath consisting of chromic acid or uh, sulfuric acid solution as uh, electrolyte and the solution is immersed with the two metal strips one is aluminium rod or aluminium strips and another one is iron rod or uh, copper rod here aluminium rod is act as anode and uh, iron or copper rod is rod is act as cathode anodizing process of aluminium is carried out by passing a current in a acidic medium that means by passing a, a dc current uh, in a acid medium uh, the anodizing process of aluminium will takes place when we pass the current in the corrosive medium uh, oxygen is liberated at the anode this oxygen uh, combines with aluminium and the formation of oxide film is takes place this oxide film is nothing but the protective uh, layer so when we pass the current in a corrosive medium uh, the oxygen liberation is takes place at the anode this oxygen combines with aluminium the aluminium oxide layer is takes place this layer protects the aluminium from corrosion how it uh, how it protects uh, the aluminium rod from the corrosion Big, uh, here this protective layer acts as barrier between this aluminium and the corrosive medium thus it prevents the aluminium rod from the corrosion and the thickness of this uh, protective layer can be varied by changing the oxidizing agents here we use the uh, chromic oxide as oxidizing agent uh, if we change the oxidizing agent then the thickness of the protective layer can be varied so overall we discussed the various methods to control the corrosion also the anodizing of aluminium by using electrolysis methods